more than half of the world's population lives in cities, and more people move to the concrete jungle every day. By 2045, United Nations Data Crunchers Project, 6 billion plus of us will reside at urban addresses, lured there for personal and professional reasons. That influx will strain transit infrastructure far beyond its original roadmaps. Forward thinking planners around the globe, from centuries old cities in Europe to booming metropolises in China, aren't sitting idle. Many are sketching new routes for citizens and commuters to navigate increasingly crowded neighborhoods, testing everything from bike rental fleets to ride sharing ventures to somewhere down the road self driving buses. It's not just about getting there faster. Cities across Europe have already implemented some version of low or zero emissions zones with stiff penalties for rural offenders. But passenger transportation isn't the only thing concerning cities. The urban migration poses an unprecedented challenge for metropolitan logistics networks. That's because, as people move to cities, commercial delivery vehicles are following, bearing all manner of goods and parcels that urbanites need or want. In fact, according McKinsey's recent Urban Commercial Transport and the Future of Mobility report, Urban freight volumes could grow 40% by 2050, accelerated by two key factors increased use of e-commerce and consumer expectations that same-day and next-day delivery is just part of doing business. Challenges to existing infrastructure will be further exacerbated by an increase in demand for mobility by individuals. Fortunately, the world's largest mail and logistics company is already testing new and innovative ways to address these challenges. With more than 92,000 delivery vehicles on the road, DHL is already making the biggest positive impact in the industry. A decade ago, it made a pioneering commitment to reduce fleet related carbon emissions. The company reached that goal in 2016, four years early. Now DHL is embarking on a far more ambitious journey and unprecedented pledge to completely eliminate all of its transport-related emissions by 2050. Together with partners, we are engaged in the research and development of logistics solutions that are environmentally friendly and conserve resources said Deutsche Post DHL CEO Frank Apple when he disclosed his company's new goal earlier this year. And when the market can't come up with the solutions, we're taking the initiative ourselves. Clearly DHL isn't wasting any time. Starting with an aggressive investment in electric vehicles of all shapes and sizes, ranging from more than 10,500 e-bicycles and e-tricycles to 5,000 battery-powered delivery vans, the company already boasts the logistics industry's largest fleet of electric delivery vehicles. In some European cities, electric trikes and bikes equipped with cubicles for carrying packages up and down narrow streets have replaced as much as 60% of DHL's former fleet. The street scooters are a decisive step towards a CO2 free Berlin. The Deutsche Post DHL Group is an important partner to achieve our goal to become a carbon neutral capital by 2050, said Michael Mula, governing mayor of Berlin. Ultimately, DHL's sustainability vision extends to replacing its entire fleet with electric vehicles that run on electricity generated by renewable sources, such as solar, wind, or hydropower. To continue building momentum, the company acquired the German electric vehicle startup Street Scooter three years ago. Since 2012, DHL has also been testing small models of its electric van to accelerate e-fleet expansion and refine the designs to meet the needs of specific logistics services. Now DHL has teamed up with Ford to create and manufacture a mid-size e-van called the Street Scooter Work XL based on the U.S. automaker's transit series. Each vehicle is custom outfitted with shelves that can carry more than 200 packages. It can be loaded through either the tailgate or a curbside door, helping to reduce the road-blocking maneuvers of many traditional delivery trucks. The vans can travel 50 to 125 miles on a charge at top speeds of around 50 miles per hour. DHL expects to have 2500 street scooter work excels on the road by the end of 2018.
In aggregate, the new EVANS will eliminate 12,500 metric tons from DHL's carbon footprint and cut more than 1.25 million gallons of fuel annually. Why did DHL venture out of its operational comfort zone into electric vehicle design? According to Ahim Kampker, Deutsche Post DHL's executive vice president overseeing e-mobility and street scooter co-founder, when the logistics giant first decided to go electric, none of the existing technologies on the market could be run and maintained economically. Aside from using the new street scooter series to decarbonize its own operations, DHL and Ford think about selling the e-vehicles to other companies looking to switch their commercial fleets to electric options. With two.